Hello there. This is the Sounds American channel. There are 12 distinct vowel sounds in American English. If you want to speak like an American, you'll need to learn to pronounce them correctly. And that could be a challenge. There's good news, though. There's an easy way to remember how all these vowels are pronounced. Each vowel sound is made with your tongue moving to a certain place in your mouth. Once you know the position of your tongue for each vowel, you can more easily organize and understand how to make them. Take a look. The vowels in the upper row are pronounced with your tongue raised very high in your mouth. The vowels in the lower row are pronounced with your tongue placed very low. Okay. As you may have already guessed, the vowels in the most right column are made with your tongue pulled back. And finally, the vowel sounds in the most left column are pronounced with your tongue pushed forward. For example, the vowel sound E, as in the word B, is pronounced with your tongue pushed forward and raised very high in your mouth. So its card is in the upper left corner. Here's another vowel. The vowel sound aw, as in the word on. This sound is pronounced with the tongue pulled back and placed very low in your mouth. So its card is in the lower right corner. Okay, if you're watching this video on a computer, click on the card to find out more about each vowel. Unfortunately, this doesn't work on mobile devices. But we have a workaround. You can use the navigation links in the description below. Have fun! This is the American vowel sound E, as in the word B. You can also hear this sound in words like each, see, key, or ski. Now listen to this sound in a crazy phrase. The queen eats green cream. Let's find out how to make the E sound. Okay, to make the E sound, you should focus on the correct position of your lips, tongue, and jaw. Open your mouth a little, stretch your lips as wide as you can, and make them tense. Raise your tongue very high and push it to the front of your mouth. The tip of your tongue should be lowered just behind your bottom front teeth. Remember, the E is a tense sound, so your lips and tongue should be tense. Your tongue should be at the front of your mouth. Let's try saying it. E. 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 This is the American vowel sound I, as in the word it. You can also hear this sound in words like big, gym, English, or image. Can you handle a sentence? A kid missed his ship. Let's find out how to make the I sound. Okay, to pronounce the I sound, you should focus on the correct position of your tongue. Slightly open your mouth, spread your lips, and relax them.
Raise your tongue high in your mouth and push it to the front. The tip of your tongue can be lowered just behind your bottom front teeth. Remember, the I is a relaxed sound, so your tongue and lips should be relaxed. And your tongue should be at the front of your mouth. Now, let's try saying it. I, I, I. This is the American vowel sound A, as in the word make. You can also hear this sound in words like take, day, wait, or ate. What if we put together a few words with this sound in a phrase? Here you go. A snail takes a late train. Keep watching to find out how to make the A sound correctly. Okay, to pronounce the A vowel, you should focus on the correct position of your lips and tongue. Partially open your mouth, spread your lips wide, and make them tense. Raise the middle of your tongue to the roof of your mouth and push it to the front. The tip of your tongue should be down, just behind your bottom front teeth. Remember, the A is a tense sound, so your lips and tongue should be very tense. Your jaw should be partially lowered. Now. Let's pronounce this sound. A. 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 This is the American vowel sound e, eh, as in the word bed. You can also hear this sound in words like get, head, many, or friend. Now let's move from words to a sentence. Men met and fed a wet elk. If you're not sure how to make the e eh vowel sound, keep watching. Okay, to pronounce the e eh sound, you should focus on the correct position of your tongue and jaw. Partially open your mouth, slightly spread your lips, and relax them. Push your tongue to the front of your mouth and relax it. Raise the middle of your tongue to the roof of your mouth. The tip of your tongue can be lowered just behind your bottom front teeth. Remember, the e eh is a relaxed sound, so your tongue and lips should be relaxed. Your jaw should be partially lowered. Now let's try saying it. E. Eh. E. Eh. Eh. This is the American vowel sound ah, as in the word cat. You can also hear this sound in words like at, half, man, 
or laugh. That's good, but it's much better when the words rhyme. A fat black cat in a hat had a nap. Let's learn how to pronounce the ah sound like an American. Okay, to pronounce the ah sound, you should focus on the correct position of your tongue and jaw. Open your mouth as wide as possible, slightly spread your lips, and tense them. Tense your tongue, flatten it, and push it forward. Your tongue should be positioned very low in your mouth. The tip of your tongue should be touching the back of your bottom front teeth. Remember, the a ah is a very open vowel sound, so your jaw should be very low and your tongue should be very flat. Now, let's try saying it. Ah. 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 This is the American vowel sound, uh, as in the word us. You can also hear this sound in words like but, come, young, or flood. How about a phrase with this sound? We've got one for you. A duck comes into a pub. Let's find out how to make the uh sound. Okay, to make the uh sound, you should focus on the correct position of your lips and tongue. Open your mouth a little, relax your lips, and put them in a neutral position. Place your tongue in the middle of your mouth, not too high or too low. Note that the uh vowel sound is used in stressed syllables, but your lips and tongue should not be tense. Your tongue should be in the center of your mouth. Let's try saying it. Uh. 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 This is the American vowel sound, uh, as in the word, ago. You can also hear this sound in words like, above, person, parent, or action. Do you want to hear it in a sentence? Here you go. Seven balloons above the ocean. If you want to pronounce the uh sound like an American, keep watching. Okay, to pronounce the uh sound, you should focus on relaxing your tongue and lips. Slightly open your mouth, relax your lips, and leave them in a neutral position. Place your tongue in the middle of your mouth and relax it. Remember, the uh sound is very relaxed, so your tongue and lips should be relaxed when you pronounce it. Let's try saying it. Uh. Uh. Uh.
This is the American vowel sound ah, as in the word got. You can also hear this sound in words like top, want, box, or wash. Now let's step up your game with a sentence. A fox got a shock in a shop. The ah is a tricky sound. Keep watching to learn how to pronounce it correctly. Okay, to pronounce the ah sound, you should focus on the correct position of your jaw and tongue. Open your mouth as wide as possible. Relax your lips and allow them to rest in a neutral position. Flatten your tongue and place it very low in your mouth. Your tongue should be in the center of your mouth. The tip of your tongue should be touching the back of your bottom front teeth. Remember, the ah is a very open sound, so your mouth should be as open as wide as possible. Let's try saying it. Ah. 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 This is the American vowel sound oo, as in the word blue. You can also hear this sound in words like rule, to, do, or new. Want a challenge? Here's a sentence with lots of words with this sound. Cute troops in blue boots. Next, you'll learn how to make the oo sound correctly. Okay, to make the oo sound, you should focus on the correct position of your jaw, lips, and tongue. Open your mouth a little and push your lips out, making a small, tense circle. Pull your tongue far back in your throat and tense it. Raise the back of the tongue toward the roof of your mouth. Remember, the oo is a tense sound, so your lips and tongue should be tense. Your tongue should be pulled back in your mouth. Let's try saying it. Oo. 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 This is the American vowel sound uh, as in the word put. You can also hear this sound in words like push, book, wolf, or could. Awesome, isn't it? Here's more of this sound. A cook stood in a brook. Do you know how to make the uh like an American? If you're not quite sure, keep watching. Okay, to pronounce the uh sound, you should focus on the correct position of your jaw, lips, and tongue. Slightly open your mouth, round your lips, and relax them. Pull your tongue back in your mouth and relax it. Lift the back of your tongue toward the roof of your mouth. Remember, the U uh is a relaxed sound, so your tongue and lips should be relaxed, and your tongue should be pulled back. 
Now let's try saying it. Uh. 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 This is the American vowel sound O, as in the word go. You can also hear this sound in words like so, snow, coat, or though. We know that you love this sound so much that you won't be able to resist a sentence. A ghost hopes for a home. If you've ever mispronounced the O sound, keep watching to learn how to fix it. Okay, to pronounce the O sound, you should focus on the correct position of your jaw, lips, and tongue. Round your lips and make them tense. Then pull them in a tighter circle. Pull your tongue back and tense it. Remember, the O is a tense sound, so your lips and tongue should be very tense. Your jaw should be partially lowered. Let's try saying it. O Oh, oh. This is the American vowel sound ah as in the word on. You can also hear this sound in words like off, cause, all, or saw. Ever heard of the saying, no pain, no gain? That'll apply to the following sentence. A small frog lost in a fog. Let's find out how to make the aw sound. Okay, to pronounce the aw sound, you should focus on the position of your jaw, lips, and tongue. Open your mouth as wide as possible and round your lips. Flatten your tongue and pull it back. Place your tongue very low in your mouth. The tip of your tongue should be touching the back of your bottom front teeth. Remember, the ah is a very open sound, so your jaw should be as open as possible. Let's try saying it. Ah. Ah. Aw. This is the American R colored vowel er, as in the word first. You can also hear this sound in words like girl, her, learn, or word. You know what? The er deserves its own phrase. A bird in a purple skirt. 
Now let's focus on how to make the er sound. Okay, pronunciation of the R colored vowel er is very similar to the rrr consonant. To make the er sound, open your mouth a little and leave your lips neutral or round them slightly. The er is a tense vowel sound, so your tongue, mouth, and throat should be tense when you pronounce it. Raise the front of your tongue toward the alveolar ridge behind your upper front teeth, but don't touch it. Curl back the tip of your tongue. Now slightly lower the center of your tongue and raise its back. Note that your tongue should be very tense. Remember, the tip of your tongue should be curled back and it should never touch the alveolar ridge behind your upper front teeth. Now, let's try saying it. This is the American R-colored vowel er, as in the word after. You can also hear this sound in words like enter, color, dollar, or nature. We can't stop ourselves from making a sentence with this sound. Eager tigers hammer spiders. Let's find out how to make the relaxed er sound. Okay, pronunciation of the R colored vowel er is very similar to the er vowel or the rr consonant. To make the er sound, open your mouth a little and leave your lips neutral or round them slightly. The er is a weak sound, so your tongue and throat should be relaxed. Raise the front of your tongue toward the alveolar ridge behind your upper front teeth, but don't touch it. Next, curl back the tip of your tongue. Now slightly lower the center of your tongue and raise its back. Note that your tongue should be relaxed. Remember, the tip of your tongue should be curled back and it should never touch the alveolar ridge. Now let's try saying it. Er, er, er.